All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can draw or paint onto any object. And this, I'm not an artist, so um, I'm not good at painting and drawing and all that stuff. So I'm just going to call it graffiti, bad graffiti, and call and leave it at that. All right, now this object already has material applied to it, and the way I'm doing this, you should you should be able to apply like graffiti or paint onto any object uh, especially you know like if you find one that's um, you've downloaded from like blend swap or somewhere else and then you imported it into your scene you can paint on it to add your own little flair to it and this is how you would go about doing it alright one of the first things you need to do is select your object and then press tab to go into edit mode and then you need to make sure all the faces are selected and the easiest way to do that is just press A twice to deselect everything and then press A once to select everything alright now you need to unwrap this so press the letter U and I like using smart UV project and this should take maybe five to ten seconds to unwrap alright it's done now what you need to do go ahead and slide grab or click on the top up here and then left click and drag over and then change this window to a an image editor and then click new and give your image uh, whatever name you want if you're gonna have a lot of fine details in your paint in your whatever you're painting on here then you may need to increase the size of this image because what we're essentially doing we're going to be painting onto a new image and then that image is already going to be UV applied to this image but we're going to do it in such a way where the base texture the bottom texture is also there alright so I'm going to click OK but of course name it and make it the size you want alright now that we have that done go come up here to image and then click save as and I'm just going to put it here get name it keep it named untitled and now change this to UV editor alright now up here click this and then select untitled the image that you just created now you can't really see anything but if you press A so that everything is selected this is the UV unwrap that makes up this now that we have that done we can go ahead and drag this over to open that up or to clean up the scene a little bit and we need to do this we need to split your windows up here mine's already split but if you don't have yours split you can just of course go up to the corner left click and then drag down to create a new window now I'm going to go ahead and go up because I already have a new window created and I'm going to just drag it down and you need to op change this one to the um, shader editor now we can go ahead and exit edit mode down here so press tab to exit edit mode alright now we need to modify this uh, material node now it doesn't matter what's behind this because we're going to be adding to it right here and it could be as complex as what however you need it to be over here because we're only going to be working from this point a branch coming off so we need to click add and then come down here to shader and choose add shader and just drop it right there now we need to click add and I'm going to go ahead and add another principal shader bring it right here and let me bring this over drag this out just a little bit so we have more room I'm going to connect the output of the principal shader to the other shader input 
Now I need to add an image texture right here. Add texture image texture. All right, and then connect the color to the base color. Now right here we need to add we need to select the image that we just created earlier which in my case it's named untitled. Now nothing changes and that's exactly what you essentially want at this point. You really don't want anything to change at this point. But we're ready to go. We're ready to start painting. Alright, so now we come up here to object, object mode, and change this to texture paint. And if we come over here to tools, this is all our, our brush um, tools and so forth. There's some more up here. Now, I'm not very good at using this at all because this is stuff that I hardly ever mess with. I think I've used um, this stuff maybe once or twice in the four years or so that I've been messing with Blender because I do mostly physics. But we could go ahead and uh, start painting on this if we want. And of course this right here controls how big your brush is. It's pretty big. And this controls the strength. And I believe that's probably similar to like opacity. And of course you got your color right here. And you got a bunch of other stuff that I really don't know much about. But I'm going to set this to 10. Alright, I'm going to pick me a color. And I'm just going to choose a, a light green. And I'm just going to kind of drag this over. And I'm just going to write something here. L E T S and I'm going to choose a different color and kind of put that in here then add another color and of course you can make yours whatever you want I have no artistic um, skill whatsoever so alright so there you go you have literally writing on this little statue now before we, you leave the texture paint window you need to click save all images alright and now you can go back to object mode and let me see if I could go ahead and set up a camera and let me see go in here whoops let me change this to camera to view alright and uh, let me go into my render settings here. Go to my world tab. Uh, let's probably set. Am I in EV? Yeah, I didn't think it looked right. I'm going to change it to cycles and then go into my world tab. And I'm going to turn the ambient occlusion down to 0.05. And probably turn this down to point one of course you don't have to, you can do this however you want and I'm gonna go ahead and activate my light and let me see where my lights at all right my lights up here grab bring it back here top view that, that looks about right let me see what that looks like change this to render region and there you go you can sort of see what it looks like when it's rendered and realistically this is what um, let me go here and go to the untitled this is what the image we just created looks like 
it kind of looks like what we wrote on it, but you have all these other weird things. It has to do with the way it was UV unwrapped. But yeah, that's essentially it. And it's actually pretty simple, even though I'm probably not explaining it very well, simply because this is not something that I do often in terms of using the paintbrush system. So if you have any questions about how to go about this, don't hesitate to ask. I will try to explain it. And like I said, this is a blend swap object. I'm going to go ahead and um, in the description of this video put a link to that file just in case you want to mess around with it. But I guess that's it. Later, people.